Well, Rusty and I are doing a little digging project here, and this is correcting, not, not a mistake, but uh, kind of a little change from the work that was done earlier. Spoiler alert, the house is getting framed behind me, but I'm gonna wind the clock back and let you guys watch this septic system from the beginning. Whoa, look at all that water. And then it'll give this kind of little repair, a little more context. It's so muddy, there's so much water everywhere. This might take us a few minutes, but let's go back to the beginning and let you guys see how the system went in and then we'll finish it. And hopefully by then I've got this opened up and can show you the little uh, repair modification that we've got to make here. This property has had a home on it since 1948. And over those 75 years, it's had at least three different septic systems that I know of. The tank is right here, and the first drain field was over in this area, and it was basically just a big hole in the ground filled back up with rock. And I don't think it was a super deep hole. It was probably dug out with a backhoe or something, so who knows, maybe eight or 10 feet deep or something like that. And in the mid-90s, it just stopped working. It stopped receiving water. And so the owner rerouted that drain field and built a new drain field over in this area. Now this drain field worked fine for a long time. It is a small house and there's only two people living here, but it was doing good all the way up until last summer when the house came down. The new house is getting built right in this area, which kind of overlaps with the old drain fields a bit. And so the new drain field for the new house and the new septic system is going back on a different part of the property, back here in the middle of these oak trees. And when Brian, the, our contractor, was out here demoing the house and putting in the house pad, we had him put in the septic system as well. So that's what we're watching. The wastewater flows out of the house with gravity only. So the further away it gets from the house, the deeper into the ground it goes. I was really enjoying seeing the soil come out and observing the different kinds of soil at different layers that were found under the ground here. In this part of the property, it was clay. And the deeper they got, the harder and denser it became. Eventually, they had to put the toothed bucket on this excavator to really scratch and dig it out. And when the hole was done, I'm telling you, it looked like plastic. It looked like I was looking inside of a big, gigantic brown cooler, just perfectly smooth. You could hardly tell it was dirt. There was not a single rock anywhere, which is quite different than the other place in the property that you'll see here before too long. There's the tank, it's made out of concrete, and I was gone when it came, so I wasn't able to film it, but Brian snapped these pictures for us. The wastewater leaves the tank and gets pumped to the back of the property where the drain field is. And this was a completely different type of soil, lots of rocks, really sandy, way better for drainage. And the only downside is that we had to take out a few of these oak trees to make room for it. kind of can't help but chuckle when I'm thinking about it, but humans for thousands of years have disposed of their wastewater by digging a hole in the ground and putting it in the earth. And that's more or less what is still happening today with a system like this. The company who makes these systems or the parts for these systems is located right here in our hometown in Southern Oregon. Orenco has been innovating and designing this stuff for decades, I think since the early 80s, and have become a real leader in the industry. Now, this system is very simple. It's residential. Getting the wastewater into the ground is the easy part, especially on a property like this. But there's a lot of other properties where there isn't room for a big drain field. And you don't want to put a drain field anywhere near a well or even rivers or streams because it can contaminate them. 
So Arenko has figured out lots of ways around this, and hopefully someday I can get in here and show you guys how it works. I'd love to learn as well, but there's some really advanced systems that has made building and handling on-site wastewater a lot easier than it has been in times past. Now I'll explain this drain field as best I can, and please correct me in the comments if I'm getting something wrong. But this white pipe here has holes in it on the bottom, and that allows the water that comes through it to drain out right into the trench. The pipe is sitting about six inches above the bottom of the trench, and you can't see it, but it's sitting on wood stakes that Brian hammered in very carefully. He measured them with a laser so that the pipe is at the perfect height, perfectly level. Then they carefully set washed rock in the trench so it completely surrounds the pipe. And now the part that I honestly just can hardly understand, but hopefully one of you guys in the comments can explain, they unroll and cover the rock with what they call craft paper. You can see them unrolling it here. And I'm telling you, it is just paper. It's lighter than a grocery bag. Now obviously it dissolves after, you know, a little rain gets on it, maybe, it, I don't know, I'm sure less than a year, but my understanding is that that's all it takes for a crust to kind of form, and then the roots of the grass and the, the plants kind of live in that soil on the top and hold it together and keep it from falling down and filling up the drain rock. I'm guessing there's very different rules for different soil types, but this is what they specified on this drain field. Well, here's the finished drain field. As you can see, it turned out really nice. And Brian even was able to save one of these oak trees by kind of going around it a little bit. So I appreciated that. It isn't easy to make these drain fields fit, not just avoiding trees and property lines and all that, but getting the pipes in at the correct depth, considering that the ground is almost never flat and the drain lines can't be super deep in the ground they need to be up at the top layer of the soil because there's a lot of oxygen there and that means that's where the organisms and bacteria are In a perfect world, the septic tank would just drain out with gravity into the drain field. And sometimes that works, but it just depends on, on the slopes and the soil types. And unfortunately here, we had to pump it up to get to the good draining soil. Next move is to level this out. And I'm gonna plant grass seed all over this. We've got a month or two left in the growing season here. And I'm hoping grass will come up so that all winter, it stays green and not just a big mud pit. Well, now you guys are experts. You know everything I know about this system. And this is where I started. Remember, Rusty and I started digging? And here's why. When this was getting installed, Brian was originally planning on putting the tank right about here. And at the last minute, I was like, hey, wait, push it further away because I have ideas for landscaping and stuff in that area and I didn't want these lids there. So he pushed it back here. And unfortunately, the, the pump package that he bought came with a cord for the pump that was like 50 feet long. So it's not long enough. And that particular cord has a special end. So long story short, I have to dig up the electrical um, to pipe and put a different little J box on it. And I was digging right here like a dummy because the pump is over here. So I wasn't even digging in the right spot and I didn't get very far anyways, but I'm gonna fix that right now and get down to that pipe and get this thing finished up.
can't imagine this is what uh, what this is supposed to be like, but I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna just try it. And if it leaks, I will take it apart. It's the consistency of like a, of a putty. Well, that's about it for the septic system. It was really kind of a pleasure doing that little repair on the system because the system was still brand new, never been used. Here's the house, it's just going up. And the next video, I'm gonna show you the footage from the concrete and the foundation work. So this is quite the spoiler right here. We did a video about a, a different septic system a year or two ago. And you might take a look at that because I think we went into much more detail on that system. In fact, I was doing some troubleshooting on that. Well, not troubleshooting, but I ended up wiring that one. So this was not my first time tussling around with these um, float wires and all that. So check that out if you'd like to see more. Rusty didn't end up being all that much help digging, but he kind of played on these rocks over here while I was doing that work. But you can see the drain field in the back there. The grass came in beautifully and I uh, couldn't be happier. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.